officer. Growing the economy must be number one priority of government in Scotland and Westminster. Over the last 17 years, both Scotland and the United Kingdom have been sluggish in economic growth. The National Institute of Economic and Social Research estimates that since the 2008 financial crisis, the UK economy has grown by an average of 1.2% each year, down from an average of 2.3% in decades prior. In Scotland, we lag behind the rest of the UK in GDP growth, with 2025 forecasts to remain the same. Make no mistake, economic growth is uh, stagnating and the working people of Scotland are paying the price of, of two weak governments. Research from the University of Strathclyde shows that early entrepreneurial activity in Scotland is lower than the UK average. To grow a strong economy and build our uh, reputation as a great place to do business, early entrepreneurs must be better supported. In particular, our technology sector, which is suffering from a lack of capital investment, would benefit. Scottish Government grant need to grow businesses in the long term and reward entrepreneurship. Edinburgh has a growing technology sector and we cannot afford to miss out. It is imperative the government works with our tech and digital industries so we can be best placed to take advantage of new technologies like AI. Growth is also being stunted by our skill system. The Chamber of Commerce Business Barometers found 71% of organisations in Scotland were facing skill shortages. And the Scottish Government has allowed this to happen by not planning for the sector key to Scotland's success and failing to provide workers with the right skills. Our skill system is rigid and doesn't adapt to the needs of businesses and people which slow growth. Slows growth. But <clears throat> while economic inactivity is rising to 23.2%, the Scottish Government has cut the budget for skills programmes, which supports young people into work by 36%. Scottish Labour will work in partnership with businesses to create a flexible, modular skill system, underpinned by digital skills passport, which can adopt to the needs of the economy. And UK Labour would set up a national wealth fund un, uh, unlocking private investment and creating uh, 69,000 green jobs. To conclude, presiding officer, the Scottish Government's focus on economic growth now is welcome, but their record does not reflect these warm words. We are lagging in productivity and employment uh, compared to the rest of the UK. Scotland needs a government which will put growth first and work with businesses to invest and unlock Scotland's poten potential. And Scottish Labour is ready for a change. Thank you.